you've chosen some very good questions. And when we look at this, um, there are varying degrees of expression. And the degree of expression changes over time and with stress. The more stressed the person is, the more the characters can occur. But someone can have the profile, but not the disability. In other words, they have a parent, partner, friends, colleagues, who understand them and support them. And so the characteristics are minimised in what we call an Asperger-friendly environment. But if that relative dies, moves, goes, change of manager, all those sorts of things can cause that person to have increased stress. Now technically, the diagnosis is given to identify someone who needs government support. In other words, access to psychologists, perhaps a psychiatrist, or various people to assist them. Sometimes the person here needs advice rather than psychotherapy. It may be advice on choosing the right career and difficulties, for example, in being promoted to management where interpersonal skills are needed more. It may be that they need counselling in relationships that they need to understand how to be successful in finding and keeping a long-term relationship. But there are other issues that you raise in that question. And that is in terms of what we call associated characteristics. Asperger's is a problem in terms of being a minority in a world of social zealots. And so the person is under extreme stress can have low self-esteem and may develop depression, may develop anxiety about coping with change or making mistakes, can become angry at the illogicality of the world or sometimes their difficulties, or have, and this is an Asperger characteristic, confusion regarding affection, how to express it, when to express it, etc. So the person may be successful in their academic or employment life, but have major difficulties in their personal life and emotions. So they may need treatment, but those treatments were designed for typical people. And those with Asperger's have a brain that is wired differently, not defectively, but differently. And those psychotherapies tend to have been based on typical people who have an ability to explore, describe, and analyse their internal thoughts and feelings easily. For those with Asperger's, that's not easy. So what's needed are psychotherapists who really do understand the different way of thinking, the different life experiences, and how to translate those therapies for people with Asperger's syndrome.